what sort of reasonable adjustments could people generally ask for in this in this current climate of the workplace? Work coaches are very popular. More time, like mm-hmm. time to process, which I found actually helps a lot of people, just giving that time to process. Very much so about, it's kind of when you say that because I go into my own deficits thinking of things I can't do and I haven't been able to get right. So note that we all are human. Um, but I think one of the bigger ones would be like a workplace advocate asking for more times, clear and concise language. It's one of the number one things I say in an IEP. Use clear mm-hmm. and concise language. You know, if you want to have a meeting, who does the meeting go to? You know, like who is invited to said meeting? Having lists is something else a lot of workplaces have been doing. And that is actually Ali, Jessica, and all of them who have taught me that one where it's like they just are like, be specific, right? Who do they need to speak to for this problem? Who needs yeah. to happen? And, you know, because one of the bigger issues that's happened is like, you know, autistics were kind of black and white. And so mm. we're, this is your management. This is your supervisor. Go to them for everything. Yeah. And then we go to them for everything and get in trouble for it. So yeah. it's kind of like, give us a clear list. Okay, if you're having payment issues, go here. Just email me issue, anytime you need help. Like, email And then they get angry when you do. Once every hour. Like, yes. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. I mean, my own boss is funny because she was like, she just, I was like, can I get a list of like what I need done? And she was like, okay. <laughs> Still hasn't done it. <laughs> but it was one of those, you know, she started texting me like, okay, this person, this person has issues come up. But, you know, I was like, a list would have been helpful. So I still haven't gotten my own list. But it's something I think that's a reasonable thing to ask people. Hey, give me exactly who I need to talk to for what situations. And it's a very, it depends on the business too. Like there are some businesses that are very open to this, whether or not it be in education, like all the different sectors, right? Like that are open to this feedback of like, yeah. help me. Others are not. And so I always tell people, you feel like your boss you're, is not listening. You might need to go. And I know it's cruel as someone who, you know, has had to leave of quite a the few jobs ideal, now. The ideal would be all the, you know, the accommodations are made and they stay there, but it's you not know, up to them. So, and exactly. And so I found that like, even in certain businesses where people wanted to accommodate me, the HRs wouldn't allow them to, hence the charter school, you know? Mm. So I think that it's important to kind of know your limits too, right? Like, so if you ask for your reasonable accommodations, you ask, you're trying to be proactive. You're not saying, screw you, you didn't do your job, I'm miserable, right? Like, so there's people who do this and they're like, I got fired. I'm like, mm-hmm, I bet you did. So you have to be, I would say, like, Peace, you know, PC. You like it, but it's kind of like Peace. a mask you put on. You're like, hi, I need help. Let's help each other. I and really I always... hate you and your organization. Oh, not yeah, really. No, it's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I've done that. I've had big smiles. And I'm like, hi, so we need to talk about what's going on. Let's chit chat. And one of yeah. my friends, she was like, oh, no, oh, no. <laughs> that's, the, that's, that's, that's the Karen signal. Because it's my scripted, very, <laughs> you know, yeah, it's like always, my, one of my girlfriends calls it, um, Corinne is going to kill you with kindness, literally. <laughs> and it works. It works a lot. You'd be surprised. I've won a lot of people over, even if I didn't like them, even if I was boiling mad. But as a teacher, you can't show a student you don't like them. And that's yeah. what really helped me out. So I feel the same way about workplaces. I'm like, mm-hmm. I can't show you. I hate you. <laughs> yeah. So it's not fake. It's real. And I think that's something else. A lot of people are like, oh, that's so fake, Corinne. You're masking. No, I, I think in the world we have to mask for certain things. And being in business, being professional is definitely mm-hmm. one of them. I, it's, it's a really hot topic. Well, hot topic for me at the moment um, around masking because – you know, I've I've got a very sort of different idea of what, you know, bad masking is and what good masking is. 